Good morning. Today is my seven year anniversary and yeah, I look like this. So we need to fix this all up. We're gonna look so fresh, so clean, so fabulous, so hot, so sexy, so... We're gonna look just chef's kiss, beautiful, show-stopping, stunning. I'm putting it out there right now. We're doing everything from coconut pulling, which I absolutely hate. Like, it gives me a gag reflex. To skincare, to deodorant, we're gonna smell good. Well, I always wear deodorant. It's also a special occasion because I cried my eyes out last night. Um, I won't say too much in case they watch my videos, but creepy men on the internet suck. Being a woman is scary. So that was my night last night. I just got out of the shower, shaved everything, if you know what I mean. I guess I should start with putting the oil in my mouth because I do not even know if I can last 10 minutes and you're supposed to last like 10 or 15. And like, how am I supposed to put this in my mouth? Like. I think I'm grossing myself out right now. I also don't have a lot of time because I'm gonna go buy Bijan lunch, I'm gonna go deliver it to his house, and then we're gonna drive together to the hotel that he got us, and then dinner. So I'm not gonna get like, I don't know if I should get fully glam right now because I have a lot of hours to go. It's only 11 a.m. So, so I think we're gonna do the prep right now, and then when we get to the hotel, we'll get glam glam together because I think I wanna go red lips, but I feel like are red lips good for your anniversary because you can't really kiss. You know, guys are scared of red lips, and I'm not trying to like scare my future husband away. So I guess I'm going for it. <sighs> okay, I guess while I do this, I'll do my skincare and maybe start my hair. Cheers. I'm genuinely not even kidding right now. I was about to throw up. Oh. I'm not a person who throws up, by the way. Like, I don't throw up easily. Oh my god. That literally gave me a gag reflex. Last time I melted it, so it was a bit better. But having that chunk of coconut oil in my mouth just wasn't it. So I think I'm gonna go warm it up because I cannot do that. Okay. I'm back with melted coconut. Wish me luck. I'm like kind of scarred from what just happened. I'm finally free. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you brush your teeth after you do that. Let me make this toothpaste aesthetically pleasing for you guys. Ta -da! My lips are soft. This is that toothpaste that everybody hypes over. The only thing is it gets stuck in your toothbrush because like this type of white toothpaste is always like really annoying. I think something that Bijan would appreciate is if I shaved my nose hairs because they're very invisible right now. But I don't have a shaver, so I think I'm gonna have to go buy that, do it at the hotel before the real glam. For now, let's fix the hair because it's looking a mess. Just a little touch up, you know? I've been using so much heat on my hair, it's kind of messed. Because now when I get these extensions out, I hope my hair is normal. But I promise you guys, next week, no heat. So you guys probably want to know, how did me and Bijan meet? And how have we been together for seven goddamn years? Because that is a long time. Like, people don't even last in marriages that long. So technically, me and Bijan are like basically like a married couple. We don't live together, shocker. Because he's 24 and I just turned 25. So like, I mean like, typically people would move in together and we should and we really want to. But you know, we don't want to live in our hometown and at the same time, we don't know how to move because you know, yeah, we're not rich. We're not rich. So we're trying our best and we'll figure it out. That's just to say, if you are hitting some milestones that other people are, don't don't worry, everyone's different, everybody has their own time, and there's no rules in life. So do whatever the hell you think is right for you. Me and this fabulous boy, now a man, met in middle school. If you guys have watched one of my Q&A Get Ready With Me's, you guys know how we met. I went up to him, I didn't know him, he smelled good. I said, you smell really good. And he said, can I smell your smelly blackberry case? And that was a love story, that's where it began. Just kidding, we were just friends after that for multiple years. One day at a little, high school get together we used to call them getties i used to always be the host then at a getty one day we kissed who would have known after that kiss we would have lost seven years probably gonna get married have kids have a family 
all that stuff. Who would have thought? I mean, I kind of manifested it. I'm gonna finish the other side of my hair and then I'll be back for the natural, beautiful makeup look. Cause we need to look like we're hardly wearing makeup, but we're like the prettiest woman alive. You know what I mean? Hair complete. I'm gonna brush it out in a sec once it cools down a bit. Let's do the makeup. I wanna go for a really natural, like no makeup makeup look, not cakey at all. Kind of like natural beauty vibes. I'm gonna go a little bit unconventional today and start off with my eyeliner because I just don't want anything falling under my eyes. I'm gonna do my waterline. I feel like that's a subtle way to kind of make your eyelash line look darker. And I feel like you can't miss the inner corner. I'm gonna poke my eye out trying to do this on camera. <laughs> Stunning. Yes, I'm doing this with purple liner because it's supposed to make your brown eyes pop and I'm a brown eye girly. I'm gonna give a little wing. Casual, chill, calm, collected. It's literally 12.06. I have to be out of here by one and have my outfits packed. And you know, me and Bay love taking photos, so I need a cute outfit. Okay, so this is my supernatural method. I take the e.l.f. halo glow. I put it like on my brush, not on the applicator, and I just kind of feather it along my skin. I feel like it just puts on way less product that literally just looks like natural skin but just alive and then i like to take this concealer kosas concealer on my hand and then dab it with the brush and kind of go in wherever i need it just wherever i want some extra coverage i love going around my mouth so i feel like that like makes the look look so much more complete blend 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 key to not creasing is don't go too far under your eye like kind of stay a little bit away. I go in with powder, just set under the eyes. I never really apply stuff straight to the face. I just usually apply it to the brush and then go in because more control. My favorite blush ever. Maybe a little bit of bronzer on the nose because I am a sucker for nose contour. Under the eyes with some bronzer. I swear this makes you look just like a little bit more defined. Can't sleep on the highlight on the nose. Just a little dot. A little inner corner eyeliner. A little touch goes a long way. I honestly have to bake a little. I use the Too Faced Born This Way powder. It has hyaluronic in it, so if it's a little bit more hydrating. But I'm so oily, so I need to do this or else everything will separate. Just in a couple spots. While we wait for that to bake, I'm gonna curl my lashes and do my mascara. I use MAC Stacked. I am on the hunt for a new mascara though. I love how like intensely black this mascara is. I also love that it's not clumpy at all. Like Gorgina, look at that. Lashes done. Brow time. Love the Too Faced pomade in a pencil. It lasts on your eyebrows all day. Fun fact, I used to work for Too Faced before I got into YouTube, of course. Buff that powder off. Wait, I do love going in with my, <clears throat> I do love going in with my Dior blush and swiping the powder off with that. I always forget, but it gives a nice like natural blend. And last but not least, the Lippy. This is the Effortless Brown and the Makeup Forever Artist Pencil. And then this is Medium to Pillow Talk. I like to blend both. I just do this like blending motion, like almost shading. A little bit of Fenty lip stain, just on the middle of the lips. And I'm gonna just top it off with some Dior lip balm. Mm -mm -mm. Brush the hair out a bit, make it a little more natural. Need to hydrate. Get that water back in my body from last night. But right, let's go pick my outfit. I literally have to leave right now. But don't worry, this is super, super natural, obviously. But don't worry, we're gonna get extra glam tonight. I think I need to go get some red lipstick. I might do it because of this picture one of you guys sent me. Now I have to do this look. All right, so this is the fit for just like the daytime. I'm wearing some boots, these jaded London jeans. My iconic belt that I seem to wear in every single video I've ever filmed. Um, this moto jacket, I'm probably gonna be freezing, it's like raining outside. And just a plain white shirt, uh, a necklace I thrifted, and then these glasses that I may or may not wear. It is very important to smell good today. So I'm putting on my favorite perfume combination right now, Clean Reserve, the skin scent. And then the pink Brazilian Jasmine Pink Dragon Fruit Bum Bum Spray, which smells absolutely divine. I get so many compliments on this. So let's start our day. Let's go get Bijan some lunch, deliver it to him. I might get him flowers because I want to be cute, you know? Like he always does so much for me. So I want to give him a little something, something. And then we'll have to get ready again later. I'll make it quick. Don't worry. Let's go get this anniversary started. All right, I'm at the flower store. I know, I know. Guys are supposed to do this, but girls can do it too okay and he gets me flowers every time so we're getting my man some flowers and i just ordered us two italian sandwiches i'm going to italian food already tonight but 
I mean, can you ever have enough Italian food? I don't think so. We're at this cute little flower shop. The weather is not ideal today. It's like freaking raining. Annoying, raining, snowing. I don't even know which. Oh, it's so cute. All right, so we definitely got some funky flowers. There's like a tie-dye rose in there. Very different, very cute. Now let's go pick up the sandwiches. I might stop at Shoppers, it's right there. I'm kind of lazy. All right, now I'm late, but the sandwich has been secured. Now let's drive 25 minutes to get to Bijan's. Um, we're probably gonna have no time to eat now, but whatever. And these flowers, I'm not gonna lie, guys. There's like five flowers on there and I paid $40. I mean, they're really unique flowers, but like, very funky like i want to love it but okay, i don't know i couldn't tell her i couldn't break her heart and tell her i didn't like it so mm, we just left it i guess it's cute enough whatever it's a thought that counts right okay guys i look really musty and dusty right now but i'm just editing this video and i realized i got really bad at vlogging at this point so i'm just gonna kind of do a voiceover and explain what happened next i took a couple videos but nothing too crazy so just a warning so this is me delivering the sandwiches and flowers to Bijan. i don't know why it looks so short and weird and then this is the kombucha Bijan thought tasted like feet i liked it and then i decided to do a grand tour for you guys hi mtv cribs this is my new house this is my couch <laughs> this is my beautiful view the gloomy gray vancouver area this is the mess my boyfriend of seven years made boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> I did, I did work so hard for that. You Ooh. messed the bed up for that. Babe. <laughs> and then I did a little vibey get ready with me. I posted this on my TikTok and my Instagram. So check it out there with like the vibey music choices. But I just got ready and then we were like, we have such a big hotel room. What are we going to do here all night? We should invite our friends. So we invited a couple friends over. Dorsa and Harvey and ended up coming. And we decided to go out after our like romantic dinner because we're like, why not? We're already here. So before we left, I obviously made Bijan take a million photos of me. But I took some of him too. So don't worry. And then we went out to dinner to this beautiful Italian restaurant. And then met up with friends after. And that was it. I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a different style than I usually do. So let me know what you think. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.